So it's Wales who will kick off through Dan Bigger, gets his first touch on his 100th appearance. And Hala Afihi, 16 stones of Italian number eight, with the Hold. first carry of this afternoon. And the Welsh defence gets there quickly enough to clamp down the Italian attack. But they've still got possession here. Fischetti. Knock on. No advantage off the ball. For the penalty. And Tackle the support. The Italians the beginning to exert a little bit of pressure. Four hours and 13 minutes between tries. The Italians, but they've notched the first three points of this game through Garbisi. Managed to keep on his feet. And the penalty is given against the Welsh at the breakdown this time. Conditions, I imagine, down there aren't that easy for kicking because the wind is buffeting the ball all over the place, but not when you strike it as well as that. Very central position on the field here. It's Adam Beard to Johnny McNichol, dancing around that Italian defence. Toby Falatar, here it is now! And it is, and it's Owen Watkins who scores. A turbo boosted try from Wales. And my goodness, did they need that? Oh, now that's oh, surely got to be a penalty against Wales. It is. So can Paulo Garbisi add another three for the Italians? He drills it low, right through the wind. Tackled by Petanelli, and again they have. Won the ball at the breakdown. The turnover from Nicotero this time for the slightly longer ones beyond around 40 metres. Different trajectory to Garbisi, but the same result and their goal kicking today. Absolutely immaculate. Here is Halafihi, Pedanelli, Monte Ioane. Just going to bounce for Ioane. Oh, it is. He should score. Monte Ioane is dragged away to the corner by a brilliant piece of defensive work. Your side, Sean. Have they got the critical mass to get all the way and through this Italian defensive rear guard? And over that line, the answer is yes! And it's Dowie Lake, and will that be the bubble-bursting try? How will the Italians respond now? That is the question. Moriarty to Tompkins, and there's space in that corner. Capuzzo's going to work, have to work really hard at full pace. They get a cross here, and he manages to get there in time. Monte Ioane alongside him, and now Ioane goes. Monte Ioane, there's a lot of defenders there. One of Gareth Davis. Is this going to be one of the tries of the season, of any season? Back goes Josh Adams, who's defended so well in this game, but it's Falatau who drops on the ball, and the penalty is given away right underneath the, the, the post. And the Italian. Corbisi lands the three, and the Italians are back in the lead again. The Gladiators on their feet once more. Comes on, means Alan Wynne jones goes, and there's 150th, and listen to the reception. Here is Adam Beard, now Moriarty throws the ball to Josh Adams. Adams, can he get around the outside? He can! Oh, Josh Adams! And the Prince of Paladin Stadium goes off like a light bulb. And it's one of those big danger men, Josh Adams. Capuzzo, Welsh defenders up very fast indeed. Off goes the whippet, and he's through! Capuzzo is through! He might be away here! Oh, Capuzzo! And he gets support from Panamani! The Romans on the rampage! Have they found the gladiator within at last? Absolutely backs himself on the outside edge. He's completely running away from the support at this moment, so he has to make it work. A beautiful in and out, and still has the composure to put that pass in, which is crucially important, because they've got to try and score under the post to secure that conversion. Big moment, needs a big heart, strike, sit through the post, and the whistle goes! The Italians are heroes all! 
36 Six Nations defeats in a row has been ended with their first ever away victory at the Principality Stadium. Gabisi is the man to take that kick. How instrumental has he been to the resurgence of this Italian team? And it means that the Italians have won for the first time since 2015 in the Six Nations. Wales 21, Italy 22.